And new here at 4.30, a fight brewing in Jackson Park. Neighbors are concerned about plans to expand the golf course because that may eliminate their beloved dog park. NBC5's Emily Flores joins us with that story. Emily? Marion, it's in the South Loop. The golf course expansion proposal will eliminate several tennis courts that will be pushed out. Some picnic areas may be eliminated, but perhaps the biggest loss would be that popular dog park. It's the only of its kind in the area and one most loved. It's very convenient. I know a lot of people who come up here. Jasmine Young has two dogs of her own, and on any clear weather day, you find her here at the Southside Dog Park. Almost every other day, so. And I bring my dogs. Yesterday, I just don't have them with me because it's raining. It's very convenient. I don't have to go further north. I can stay right here in my hometown. With Chicago Park District's recent proposal to improve and expand the existing golf course in Jackson Park and South Shore, Jackson Bark, the unofficial dog park, may be eliminated. I really don't want them to do it. 23 dog parks in the city, and it's zero on the south side. I mean, <laughs> what else can I say? Todd Augusto is the man behind Jackson Bark, the only dog park on the city's south side. They need a place to play and socialize. Augusto used his own funds, supplies, and energy to create the ad hoc dog agility course, a place only growing in popularity. Well, we're outperforming most of the dog parks, and they're all, all the other dog parks are official. He's hopeful the city can see how important this area is to residents. The Jackson Park Watch Organization also hoping the golf course expansion proposal can find a balance between golf and nature, not forgetting the residents who use the park every day. Taking over nature areas, not only the dog park, but some nature areas. Other tennis courts are being other, uh, obliterated, uh, two ball fields and soccer areas. So, so it's, a, it's a, an emphasis on a, a, a sport for a few, it seems, at the, at the uh, expense of uh, services that many others use. Now, the Chicago Golf Alliance told DNA Info it's committed to maintaining a mix of nature areas and golf links. The Chicago Park District today said it plans to continue its community response outreach efforts. And then Alderman Leslie Hairston promising more community meetings as well, but has not yet set those dates. So much more to come. Dick right. and Marion. Thanks, Emily.